VHS, and which was it was only a euro. Um, and then because uh, I wanted to get a couple movies uh, in German, um, I, although I don't know if it's in German. But I wanted to just kind of bottom in Germany though. Yes, it, on the back it, it's all in Germany. It might and have also, subtitles or something. You never know. Maybe, yeah. And I bought uh, the Professional. It's like a Steelbook DVD thing of that. So I thought that was good cool. movie. Your chat is loading. Mine is not loading. What the fuck? I'm sorry for you. I'm watching mine. You can peek out mine. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, I thought Seamus is coming over too. Just like this is dumb. Out. I can't even see the chat. <laughs> but uh, so we yeah we we were roaming around and filming and stuff and James started filming <laughs> started filming people across the street at a chicken store and well and to to get what 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 like the I guess the ironic part of it was okay. would be telling the entire thing to, and I don't I don't know if, I mean it's, it's like, in the footage. Some of it is, but not all of it, because, I mean, the ending part I didn't record. Yeah, the part we are. We were by the train trying to do the currency thing because we were running low on funds, and there was a store called N-I-G-G-E-M-A-N. (laughs) Noir! (laughs) But, like, it was just, like, like, all the people in front of that store, they were all, like, white people or whatever. And then it was funny because, like, there was a big group of black people standing right next to it, not like in front of this store, but it was in front of like a chicken place, like the stereotypical thing. And I recorded like both both ends or whatever. Yeah, James was like, look at the people in front of that store and look at the people who aren't at that store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, yeah, you you like, like it's, <laughs> as if they it were was protesting. Border, it was pro- borderline, protesting. kind of racist still there. They just didn't put the R in there. They knew what they were doing when they were doing that. I don't even know what the store was. I think it was like a clothes store. Maybe, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, that was a that that was really weird. So then when I, I'm I'm in the middle of recording that and I turn to the right and all of a sudden there's this dude walking towards me and I guess you can mimic him better than I can. Oh yeah, he he pretty much walked up to James and he's like, You don't do that bullshit here, man. You don't film people. Like yeah, he was saying, he was like, you don't film, like, people's faces and stuff. And yeah. I was like, no, I wasn't filming their faces. And I pointed the camera up. I was like, I was filming the sky. <laughs> and he, 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 he was like, no, you don't. Yeah, he, he, didn't, he didn't. He didn't. You knew what you were doing. Yeah, he was really serious about it. He just, was like, he like a big burly dude or what? Not really. I mean, he, he could have beat the shit out of James. But <laughs> he wasn't like a super fit, muscle, muscly guy. I'm sure he was... Fit enough, though. You don't do that here. You don't do that but then we walked. We walked like a couple steps, and there was a there was a lady in front of us, and she looked back and like kind of stopped and said to us, "She was like, you know, don't worry about it. He was probably a drug dealer." <laughs> and then uh, you know that he wouldn't want his face yeah. recorded or anything like that. I didn't want it like shown or in public his customers. because he's yeah yeah because he's a drug dealer or whatever. And wow. then. I don't know if it was the next day. No, it was it was, it was the same we day. Went, we went back through. We went yeah, through. yeah, we went we went in, get our, got our currency and everything like that, and we went around to like we walked around just to see what was around there. We seen the movie theater and uh, yeah. like a couple of the stores or whatever. And then when we were coming back, the same dude that yelled at me to stop recording him was with this really dirty looking dude with like. It nasty, like it, his hair was all fucked up. It, it looked like he was rolling around in dirt. The guy that he was talking to, <laughs> and like they were, they were talking. A druggie. And it was a druggie. <laughs> it looked like a this druggie. Was like, this was like an hour and a half later because we had gone back to the hotel. And then yeah, he must have right just been then. circling around. Yeah, the same so area. He, he probably was a drug dealer. <laughs> Still at the chicken store, but yeah, like he didn't pull out like a shank or something and take <laughs> you out. It was that just, was like it the was first just time a... anybody's ever confronted James like about filming. Yeah, there was a lot of people there. That, like I said, I tweeted it, that there was a lot of people there just giving me dirty looks in general while I would record them. <laughs> like they just don't, they don't like it. I guess because Z was saying about the law thing or whatever, right? Yeah, apparently they're pretty strict All in right, Germany. <laughs> Breaking the law. You set them up, and apparently they have stricter filming, you know, privacy they're laws. Strict. They had the strictest film laws in the world, I think, in the world. Yeah, so they were, they were giving me some dirty looks. <laughs> and it was like, it was just a weird chain of events to see the store without the R, <laughs> and then right next to it, a chicken place, and then like right in front of that, like the, 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 the I guess the drug dealer who <laughs> ran across the street to yell at me to stop recording. He ran across the street to yell at you? I thought he came down the sidewalk. We were on the opposite he side. Was coming, yeah. oh, we were okay, on the opposite oh, side. He must have cut. He must have cut over. He had to have cut over. Wow. 
Maybe wow. you can maybe you can refer to the footage later and see. If you can see <laughs> I don't come think, I don't think I recorded it though. We were filming it right in front of a uh, a little shop that had a bunch of kids' toys and then like cases of beer. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually it's in the end of the video that I we were posting today in like half an hey, hour. Man, drinking, it was at least three sex shops there. Shop that I recorded. They're, They're real lax with that like stuff over there. Yeah, yeah, just, a kid will go into a, a store and get like a ball and a cup and a case of beer. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> when we were in when Dan got his Blade VHS, there was a nice porn section. Oh, just that, out in the open. It was yeah, huge. That and when we were checking out, there was a stack of like old. It looked like like CD-ROM cases that it just said "hardcore bondage" on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "What? That's like right there for so anybody who's like, checking wow. out." These are like yeah. like a uh, burnt in someone's basement kind of thing. Just yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> Film. But uh, so, so they had that. Like the cultural differences were that they're less like I guess bashful about sex because they had sex shops we saw walking. Yeah, by. there was a, a store that was like an adult toy store that was number sixty nine on the street, like sixty nine. <laughs> that was their address. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, and I pointed out to James, and James filmed it a little bit, but <laughs> like yeah, they were definitely a lot more lax and open. But uh, other differences were like the toilet thing. We were baffled by that for a little bit. It's like a water saver thing where they have two buttons, one big button, one little button. Yeah, they have, yeah, they have low flush, high flush. Yeah, or somebody was like one two. for the big ones for number two and the the little ones. It really for didn't two. seem like it made much of a difference. It I, made like, a I, little bit. It's over time, like the whole hotel. If saves like, water. Yeah, if like everyone in the hotel just uses when they pee, they use the low flush. Then it's better than yeah. everyone using the, all the mm -hmm. water. For our for our second hotel, they had like an energy saving thing where you had to put the room card in a slot on the wall to for the power to turn on in the room. Wow. So oh, yeah. the air conditioning wouldn't run while we were gone. We thought we could fake them out because they and gave leave us it two there. cards. Yeah, they gave us two cards. I left mine in there. We went to the convention. We came back. They took my card, didn't leave it in the room anywhere, <laughs> and so we just had one card for the rest but of the trip. But they do not disturb on the front, so the maids don't go on. I didn't even think about it. But we wanted the maids to service the room. Oh. Even but though yeah, they kind of half-assed it, by the end we weren't I getting They, they we weren't giving us towels. toilet paper yeah. and towels <laughs> towards the end of it. Were you guys like just leaving the room with some blue mess? through toilet paper or something? Really? Dan was burning through. I, I burned through toilet paper. I went down to get a pizza. He was like, do me a favor, get the toilet paper while you're down there. Oh, I guilted him into doing it because I didn't want to have to go down there. Yeah, if you don't go get toilet paper, you're an asshole. And I, I, think like, I had to go out of my way to get it. Anyway, though. Why not? Take a pizza. Yeah. Not toilet, I'm going to ask him for toilet paper. You've been pizza. asking for water. I'm going to, I'm going to, like, been going yeah, down. but that's water. I mean, water and pizza goes better than toilet paper and pizza. They think I'm probably taking a shit with the pizza <laughs> just sitting there, like, wiping your ass with the pizza. I need, and I'm wiping your ass. <laughs> I need to Come sit on. down and relax and enjoy my pizza and mm. shit at the same time, I guess. Yeah. Man, that pizza made me shit. We had a four cheese pizza. Oh, that and pizza it had, was nasty. It had this blue stuff on it. It was like a blue cheese was one of the kinds okay. of cheese oh, on it. Yeah. And it looked like moldy, bad, like, pizza. That's what, that's what, that's like. what blue cheese looks like. Blues, yeah, yeah I know. Smells. No, I know. Well, blue cheese is mold. Yeah. But, like, I like blue cheese. This wasn't blue cheese specifically. It was a kind of blue cheese. And the next day, I did not feel well at all. Mm. And that was one of the reasons why I went through the toilet yeah. paper so fast. <laughs> I asked you guys a little bit um, when we were out and about, like you went to McDonald's and stuff like that. What's yeah. What was different, if anything at all? Not really a whole lot. James the McDonald's deal, because I don't like McDonald's. He I knows McDonald's. it. In I general, not, yeah. I don't eat McDonald's. Way, I'll do like their, I'll it. do breakfast for them, because it's really hard to screw up eggs, you know, yeah. and stuff like that. But I just else. really don't, I don't eat McDonald's. You didn't understand why I don't eat McDonald's, but like, I just you don't, I don't, I don't eat McDonald's. I, I had a bad experience. Runs over there, Dan? Huh? What do I see over there? It's red. Running runs? We're talking like <laughs> yeah. consistent stream here. I don't want to break up the, the flow here. I'm going to run an ad now. Too bad. Probably Blame Jordan. Oh! We call it Runny Runs, Dan. <laughs> I've talked about the answers. <laughs> I'm asking what ads they get. I don't like being all like, okay, I'll run. You just ruined my story. No, you just Jordan. do it. Thanks you just a lot. the button. Now I got an ad. So there really wasn't. <laughs> I didn't even get one. There wasn't... You did it wrong. It takes a little bit sometimes to process. Are we, are we putting a pause on the conversation? We are now. All right, cool. I gotta wait. Not, so this, will, this conversation will be after the ad ran anyway. Yeah. Good so now. there really wasn't anything that much different. Is it good now? What was your bad experience at McDonald's? I just never, I never really liked McDonald's. I'd always feel sick the after eating it. clown freak you out? And I'm then, the like, way. after, after, like, I'd started feeling sick every once in a while when I would eat it. 
I stopped eating it for a while, and then after uh, just stopping for a while, I watched like Super Size Me, and that just completely <laughs> made me you not think, want you it think at Burger all King anymore. Is much better? I don't. It's something in here that's fucking screwy. Where I'll eat oh, Burger King. Oh, do not watch Food Inc. You will never eat any that's food, why food I, ever uh, again. That's why I haven't watched Food Inc. I don't yeah. want. Food Inc. You will, <laughs> not, be you will never go to a grocery store and want to eat food. Well, I don't. I don't really eat McDonald's, but that was the only thing we had seen. Really, it was like a McDonald's. We had. You said there was a Chinese. There was place. a Chinese place right in front. Did we went down. It? We went downstairs, and I went to the desk, and I asked the, the dude. I was like, you know, uh, you know, what all there is, or whatever. I think, and he was. He he pointed out the Chinese place. I said, do they speak no, you, English? You asked him about the Chinese food place. Specifically. Oh, I did. And he oh, said, I, I heard good him. things. He said, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but I did, I did ask him yeah. if they spoke English, and he said, yeah, like, that they're good to go. We went over there. After we did the loop around, we went over there. They didn't speak no fucking English. Like, they, that lady was looking at me so confused. Like, I went in there just kind of talking normal because I thought that they already spoke English, but they didn't. I don't know if they were speaking German or what. <laughs> but uh, we just said, she just kind of, like, took us over to the table. Yeah, he asked if, we, if they had takeout. Or if we could, you know, yeah, I asked go. Him, yeah, and I asked she said yes, but she still sat us. Yeah. And we started looking at the menu, and it was just a mess. We they had these thing. weird stock pictures in the menu, though, where it would be like, have you ever seen that picture of the pig where it's like smiling with the big, big bright teeth? Yes. That picture was <laughs> in their menu. <laughs> Oh, and it's like random pictures like that that they had in their menu. And then at that point, I was just like, all right, what's something that I usually get here? And I was just like, do you guys have general sell chicken? And they were like, no, 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 no. no. Uh, She's just like looking at me all confused like. And uh, then we just we, we went to McDonald's. Then at McDonald's, I had a mix-up too with my yeah. fucking chicken fingers. You asked for the chicken, like three chicken thing. And it was like you could get three different yeah, types of chicken yeah. in it. And it's a box of, of three different chickens, I guess, and you get to mix and match. And I didn't know what the fuck the guy was talking about. What did he say? He's like, I, what in it or yeah, something what, like that? What, what do you want in it? And you're just like, chicken? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. What kind of chicken? Was, yeah, like he, did, he didn't clarify that. We have a tiny baby chicken. He just kept saying, what inside? Like, and it was confusing. I was oh, like, he's talking about, like, the sauce or something like that? You just got if the three I was there, you I would have broken like... out my German. And I yeah, we weren't. Yeah. Shut up. Talked everyone up. I would love to hear you speak German. And then the people that are local would be like, what the fuck did he just say? <laughs> but that's what would happen. I have snuck in a few Dankas, like, just to be nice. Danke. I Danke. copied them after a while. Yeah, <laughs> I would just do that every once in a while. You, you, know, you want to say, Danke schon. I'd feel like, I'd feel like if I were to Danke say that, schon. though. Thank it's not much. like they said, you know, you're saying it wrong. They let me go because no, I'm I, saying that's not more from, formal. All right, like, well, I don't give a shit. They accepted it. Hey, <laughs> they accepted it. It's done. They, uh, it was polite, if anything. Did you get anyone said, that... I could have like, went like this and see if they would have <laughs> do that. I He's holding up middle fingers for those of you. But yes, <laughs> let, the, let, let the record show that James <laughs> gave the double bird. Did you get everyone, or did you get anyone, like, when you did say Danka? Because this is what I'd be afraid of. Like, when I say Danka, they'd be like, ah, oh, that's cute, you American <laughs> trying, to, trying to say no, thanks. No, no one really even... That'd be like a foreign person coming here and be like, thank you. Thank like, you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I know I wouldn't, but like, it just seems like that, like, in Frenchy. other countries. Because it's different, I don't know. I'm, yeah. I was, I was... Culturally, it's different. Yeah, I was trying to be as... Not as embarrassing as possible in front of the foreign people. Not trying to be like an unabashed American guy that's just coming into their country. Fucking I'll tell you up. what, and speaking of embarrassing, I don't understand. There's so many people that talk down on like different cons, uh, events in general, where they say people stink. And so far, oh, Germany was this worse. was the worst I one would see that. Yeah, I in see that. terms of smelliness. Like, <laughs> it was not nearly as bad at PAX, or I would say probably, what was the worst one? I'd say Comic-Con was probably the worst one that we've been to. And that mm-hmm. wasn't even, that, was, it, that wasn't even really all that bad. that bad. It was pretty well aerated, though, in I, In hall. Germany, it was like every corner, it would hit you in the face. <laughs> yeah. And I was so happy that I did, I, I was borderline headache a lot he, of the oh, Yeah, he almost got a headache a lot of the time. But it was only really when we were just exploring. Germany in general that you got a headache, I think. Yeah, well, I was yeah, walking around in the sun and then just getting hit in the face with a stink yeah. <laughs> slob. For Gamescom, slob. you got people coming from all sorts of different countries within the area, you know, getting yeah. that different spice. Yeah, there, you was, know, someone, there that was someone odor. that was dancing up on the uh, stage for the PlayStation Move thing, and it was a chick, and she had some hairy pits going. Really? <laughs> I didn't notice that. I did. did you film That's her? Nice. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, That's man. nice. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you're like filming her and she thinks you're filming her dancing and you just zoomed in on her pit. 
filming yeah. the her. Speaking of the dancing thing, we saw a European muscular Z. Yeah. Oh yeah, he, he was, was dancing. <laughs> guy looked exactly like Z. It was crazy. <laughs> Z, we already went over. If you guys, um, if you look on the uh, Creature Talk Facebook page, which by the way, we're going to be doing more stuff with that. So check that is out. Is it called Creature Talk or is it I don't called know. It's Creature, Creature 